Your doctor has likely ran some labs on you lately, right? You can probably raise your hand and say yes, because most people have, and you may feel like you're not living your best life, but what if your labs are coming back normal and your doctor says everything is normal, but you don't feel like you're living like your life should be normal. And I hear this story over and over again. So I want to talk to you about something tonight or today um, that may not go along with what you believe or even understand to be true. And you may think it's even controversial, so that's okay too. But what I want to talk to you about is what we call normal health may be common, but it's not normal. It's not normal to drag yourself out of bed every single morning and fuel yourself on three to four cups of coffee to get going. It is not normal that you are too tired to do anything else at the end of your workday because you're completely exhausted. And it's not normal for you to continue to pack on body fat year after year, no matter how hard you're trying to get it off. We've really become accustomed to the word normal health and we've associated it with a normal aging process. And I'm here to tell you today that what is common is not always normal. And I have a problem because we've accepted this as the norm and something that we just have to live with. And the problem that I have with it is the fact that I was told that same story for so many years that I just had to live with it, you know? And I realized that I was looking in the wrong places for my health advice. I look around today and I see all the same symptoms in people, that same old tired, depleted self that I used to be, I see it in other people. And I'm watching people look to their doctors for answers. And I'm watching people walk around with preventable diseases, things like high cholesterol, type two diabetes, and even things like cancer, which is becoming more and more common. And we blame these diseases on things like genetics, or just the normal aging process. And what I want you to know is that there's a better way. And I promise that is not in metformin. It is not in insulin shots. It is not in blood pressure medication. It is not in chemotherapy. And I'm not against medication. So you can call me controversial or whatever you want to. I believe there's a time and place for that. But I also believe that there is a better way that has nothing to do with pharmaceuticals. And I know this because I spent my life living in the same trap, most of my life. And now that I've learned about health and prevention, I am on a mission. And I want to share this with as many people who will listen. And if you are beyond listening and you're ready to be coached into something to live your best life, then I want you to stay tuned to this too, because I want to help you. I want to help you reach your goals. I want you to understand that when it comes to normal health, you should normally wake up in the morning with plenty of energy and get out of bed easily. You should still have that same great energy all through the day and through the evening. And you should be able to lay down at night when you get ready to without needing sleeping pills. You should be able to eat your meals and feel satisfied without having cravings. And you certainly shouldn't be packing on the pounds year after year after you're doing everything right. I hear your stories. You're doing everything right. You're working out right. You're eating right. And you, you're sending me all this stuff saying, hey, I'm doing it right. Why is my body not cooperating? But the truth is, is that there is a better way to look at health. And the health problems that you're experiencing, the things like fatigue, insomnia, anxiety, irritability, indigestion, they may not sound that life-threatening right now, but they are a sign that there is something more serious to come. And the thing is, is these problems don't just happen by chance. They're happening because there is an underlying malfunction going on in your body and you're missing out on some amazing benefits of optimal health. So this is what I teach my clients every single day, and that is how to live in optimal health. And the beautiful thing is, is that body knows exactly how to achieve the state of health if we give it what it needs. All we have to do is support it with the right things. And when you get this right, you're going to wake up in the morning you're going to be happy. You're going to be full of energy. You're going to be excited to start your day. And you're going to have steady energy throughout the day without feeling sluggish, without feeling like you need the caffeine or sugar to keep you going. And you're also going to have higher resistance when it comes to illness. And we all know what's going on in the world right now. So we could definitely use a little bit more of that. Optimal health is going to give you the ability to think more clearly, remember more easily, all of those things, you know, that are going in our brain. 
You're going to have a higher tolerance to stress. So maybe you've met those people that seem really easygoing. They, you feel like they just, they have everything just rolling off their back. Um, you know, and those types of people seem like stressors just come easier to them. But the truth is, is those are the things that come with health. And when you have a healthy body, you're going to have a healthy mind. And you'll also have a healthy weight. Because it's easy to maintain your body weight and you're, it's easy for you to be able to move more freely and live without pain when you're in optimal health. You'll also have better digestion. You know, you don't have to worry about things like heartburn and gas and diarrhea and constipation. And your food cravings, they're going to disappear. And I know I mentioned a lot of symptoms here, but I just, I want you to have the list because I want you to understand that so many things that we think about as normal, they're not optimal, right? And if you think that it seems unrealistic that you could live a life that I just described, then I have to tell you that you're doing it wrong. And I know it may sound harsh, but you can live every single one of these health benefits and that is exactly what it means to live in optimal health the only thing that you have to do is make a change and commit to taking action because change does not happen on its own so i encourage you today that if you're experiencing these symptoms and you feel like you're not living in optimal health then know that um, if you're willing to do what it takes then all it comes down to is investing in yourself and you're totally worth it. So I've come up with seven points I wanna share with you today, and I don't wanna get this live to be too long, but I do wanna share with you seven different things that you can start doing today. Absolutely free things that you can do today, okay? Because I wanna see you live in an optimal health. Number one is improve your breathing. The body requires a steady flow of oxygen to function properly. And beyond that, things like stress, poor posture, poor diet, all those things are going to interfere with your ability to breathe properly. So I want you to focus on deep breathing, breathing in your belly. I talk about this a lot. Breathing in your belly and out because that's going to really train your body to breathe properly, to oxygenate your cells. And your cells need oxygen to live properly. So number two, drink plenty of water. Two thirds of your body is made of water. And when I speak to people, the average person drinks two to four glasses of water per day. And to me, that is astonishing. We are so dehydrated and then we're filling our bodies up with food when we're probably not even hungry. We're probably just thirsty. And water supports the brain, it supports digestion, it supports our immune system, detox pathways, and it even lubricates our muscles and joints. So if you got any of these symptoms in these areas, then I encourage you do something really simple like increase your water intake. Number three is eat whole foods. We live on processed foods, sugar, toxins, additives, flavorings. This is driving disease in our bodies and our cells are a picture of what we eat. And the only thing that's keeping us from thriving many times is because we are fueling ourselves on non-food items. So focus on meat, fruit, vegetables, and anything else can be a driver behind disease. Number four, think positive thoughts. I'm huge on this. Your daily actions are a clear picture of your thought life. If you can believe it, you can have it because your thoughts are gonna drive your beliefs, your beliefs are gonna drive your actions, your actions drive your results. And if you have a miserable thought life, then you are gonna show up like that in your life and the results you get are gonna be a clear picture of what you're thinking. So make sure you're thinking positive thoughts and taking positive action so that you can have positive results. Number five is get enough sleep. You are living in a sleep deprived nation. We all are. We wake up every morning and tired feeling fatigued because, and needing those three cups of coffee, right? Because we're not going to bed. And if you're getting six hours of sleep at night, then you're not doing your body any favors. So when I interview my clients, that's the average number of sleep they're getting every night. And during sleep, the body is repaired. So we have to think about what happens during sleep and why we need it so much. Our immune system starts working for us. We're physically breaking down damage that's being repaired. We're processing our thoughts and memories and sleep is helping us recover from our day-to-day -day activities and it's refreshing us for the next day. So make sure you're getting your Z's. And number six is get in nature. I know I'm a nature girl, I'll admit it, 
And the truth is that you should be a nature person too. Because if you have not experienced the healing properties of nature, then you're missing out. Did you know that nature has its own immune system? That is amazing to me. And just think about how amazing the sun is. We spend so much time indoors. Now, most of us on front of, in front of the computer, right? I know that's where I spend most of my time. And our ancestors, they spent most of their time outside in the sun. And so many people are going out of their way these days to avoid the sun. They're afraid of it because of cancer. But the truth is, is it's critical for your immune system. So get outside for at least 20 minutes per day. It doesn't matter, even if it's for a short walk in your neighborhood. Number seven, last thing I'm going to leave with you today is move your body. I know I just talked about walking in the sun, but the truth is, is you're going to need to exercise. One of the biggest reasons I see for chronic pain and inflammation is due to lack of exercise and movement. And we have to do this in order to improve circulation, boost our immune system, improve our mental clarity, and it's great for physical resilience. It it improves mental health. I mean, it, the studies are showing that people with mental health, like depression, anxiety, all these things, they are improved by moving the body. So move your body every day and bonus points if you break a sweat. So I get, I'm gonna wrap it up um, on that and just say that if you're doing all these things and you feel like you're still not living in health, um, you're like, Chelsea, I'm doing all this. I don't really know what else to do. I'm, I'm trying my hardest to do everything right, right? If that's the case, there might be something underlying that you just you just need to discover. You just need to figure out what's going on, maybe run some lab tests and do something so that you can experience optimal health. If your doctor has looked at your labs and they say they're normal and you're doing all these things right and you're still not receiving results, then please shoot me a message because I want to talk to you about something. Um, there's a difference between normal and optimal results, so I'll share a few pieces of information with you on that shoot me a message. I'm happy to help, but it just may mean that you might need to look at things a little bit deeper and I'm happy to help you do that. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your awesome day and take something that you learned today and apply it to your life. And we'll talk to you soon.